Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Mr. Sunito. Ah, something's not right, but I can't put my finger on it. Hmm, what is wrong? I don't know. Mm. Oh, well, I hope you're having a great day today. I know, I am. Can you tell? Um, I've got a book for you. You want to see it? Look, it's called, oh, I can't really tell what it's called. Hmm, I wonder if there's something wrong with this camera. Well, the book is called Whoever You Are, and it's written by Mem Fox. She also illustrated the book. Mm, this isn't working out real well. Let me put it to you under the, the other camera. Hang on. All right, let's try this again. Today's book is called Whoever You Are by Mem Fox. Take a look at the illustration on the cover. What do you notice? What do you see? Look at the man and the children in front of the earth. This shows you that the children are from all around the world. Now, I'm going to show you the back cover. And you can take a look at the illustration here. Um, there's some writing up here I want you to listen to. It says, every day all over the world, children are laughing and crying, playing and learning, eating and sleeping. They may not look the same. They may not speak the same language. Their lives may be quite different, but inside they are just like you. Let's read the story to find out ways that other children in the world are different from and the same as you. Oh, I just noticed something. This was written by Mem Fox, illustrated by Leslie Staub. Okay, I just caught that whoever you are. Little one, whoever you are. Wherever you are. There are little ones just like you all over the world. Their skin may be different from yours and their homes may be different from yours. Hmm. Now think about your friends. Do you all have exactly the same skin color? How else did the children in this illustration look different from each other? Did you notice their hair? Maybe their eyes? Their schools may be different from yours. What do you notice about this school? These children do not read or write in the same way that you do, but this is school. And their lands may be different from yours. Their lives may be different from yours, and their words may be very different from yours. See their words? But inside, their hearts are just like yours. 
What do you think it means when Mem Fox, the author, writes, but inside, their hearts are just like yours? We all have hearts, don't we? Mm -hmm. On this side, it says, whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Their smiles are like yours, and they laugh just like you. Their hurts are like yours, and they cry like you too. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Little one, when you are older and when you are grown, you may be different. And they may be different wherever you are, wherever they are in this big, wide world. But remember this. Joys are the same and love is the same. Pain is the same. And blood is the same. Smiles are the same and hearts are just the same. Wherever they are, wherever you are, wherever we are. All over the world. Mm. What is the author, Mem Fox, trying to tell us in this story? What does she want you to think about? Think she wants us to think about, even though we look a little different, we have many things that are the same about us all. Let's do some writing. Hang on. All right, now we're going to do some writing. And of course, you're going to need your writer's notebook. You're going to need a pencil and some crayons. After you got your materials, what I'd like you to do is at the top of your page, let's write the title of the book, and I've already put it here for you, Whoever You Are. And in the book, Mem Fox, the author, she writes about how children can be different, but how they can also be the same. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take our pencil and we're going to make a big letter T like this. Try to make sure that you've got the same amount of space on this side as you do on that side. And if you need to pause the video to get this right, that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. Now, at the top of the first side, we're going to write how kids
are different. And we're going to put maybe just two or three ways that we're different over here. So let's think for a minute. How are children different from each other? And if you're not sure, you can go back and listen to me read the book again. But I bet if you think, you might already know or even remember ways that you guys are different from each other. Maybe, oh, what did she say? Um, she said that you're different because of, oh, the illustrator showed how you looked different. Do you remember how you looked different? Mm. So maybe we could start with kids. Have different, d, d, and it's actually right up here, but different. Hmm. Well, you might have different schools. So you can write that down if you want. I'd like to see if you can come up with two more ways from the book or from your own thinking, ways that kids are different. And then we're going to do the other side. Have you figured out what we're going to put on the other side? Well, I'm going to fill this section in. And you can copy this down too. How are, I'm sorry, how kids are the same. And if you can't squeeze it all in, you could put it on the line underneath. It doesn't have to be perfect. But just make it so that you can read it, your parents can read it, I can read it. And we're going to think for a minute, how are kids the same? Hmm. And we can start right here. Let's see. We could say, oh. We have, oh now what do we have that's the same? Well, think back to the book. Do you remember what the author wrote? Mm. She wrote about how you were same on the inside. And there was something on the inside that she wrote about. There were a few things, but didn't she say, we have the, the same the same heart. Yeah. You can write that down and see if you can come up with two other ways either from the book or on your own, your own ideas of how kids are the same. And then at the bottom, see if you can draw some kids that maybe are the same or maybe are different. Put them down here at the bottom of your page and then be sure to take a picture and send it to me in Class Dojo. I hope you have a great day. And I will talk to you soon.